Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3 here on Wildberry Island where Brewster has just brewed us up a delicious cup of coffee. The finest beans brewed to perfection. Even got you a clean cup. Enjoy. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll have some peach tea, so I'll say. Because <laughs> that is my favorite tea right now. And mm, warm. Nothing like a fresh cup of hot coffee to warm my whole body. All right, thank you very much, Brewster. Hopefully, I won't be too, like, hyperly caffeinated as we run around the island today, but just be careful. Too much coffee can mess with you. <laughs> thank you, Brewster. Thank you. But all right, hello, everyone. And welcome, welcome to day three of Vlogmas here in Wildberry Island, where I've got so many cool things to show you guys. My pockets are overflowing with a whole bunch of school jackets because apparently all of the cranes on the island are concerned about Cranston's education. Well, actually, also Diva. So basically, everybody has been giving me school jackets after talking to Cranston. So I think we possibly need to work on getting that school over on Lottie's home, Happy Paradise Island, up and going. And I found a farming island where I learned a sugar crepe recipe. I really want to try making some sugar crepes to share with everybody. And I brought home a whole bunch of holly bushes from my adventure to the new island today. Oh, and we still have a blowfish I need to give to Blathers, a set of stockings that my beloved husband Chips actually gave us for our Vlogmas celebrations, and a new gyroid that I have to introduce you guys to. He's so freaking cute. Uh, and very relevant to the pet food bowl and the kitty litter box that I actually found found on our island after we got this gyroid. But all right, first things first, let's say hello to Sheldon. I'm just in between reps right now. Just a quick coffee break for some energy novel. I'll be right back out there in a few minutes, doing squats and high intensity jujitsu. Oh, Sheldon. Coffee gets me super pumped up, so I always end up using the extra caffeine energy to order more. Hey, Brewster, I'll have the usual. Oh, this place like seems really tranquil and quiet, but I actually guess when you have some villagers like Sheldon, highly caffeinated, it probably becomes a really hilarious, interesting place. But all right, so let's go ahead and get going. Oh, and then also guys, today's the day Gladys has moved in. I want to try moving her house over by Cranston's place, and I want to try sneaking over to Katarina to see if we can improve our relationship with Gladys in exchange for cold, hard cash. I'm willing to bribe the fates if that's what it takes. Sorry to wake you, Bars. Very sorry. All right. Yes, yes, I have a donation I would like to give you, Blathers. All right, our little blowfish! Here you go, friend! Who? Woohoo! This is undoubtedly a blowfish! Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your blowfish? Absolutely. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. As you may know, blowfish carry a deadly poison, are among the most toxic creatures on Earth. What you may not have known is that poison and spines are not the limit of this animal's defenses. A predator that tries to swallow a blowfish before it inflates can find itself being quickly choked. To be honest, if said predator can get past poison, spines, and choking hazards, I feel they've earned a meal. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Oh, thank you, Blathers. We'll have to go ahead and check out the blowfish in a little bit. I was actually surprised when we caught it that I didn't learn, like, something about, like, blowfish sashimi or something like that. Because that's actually a recipe thing that you can eat in The Sims, like raw blowfish sushi. And The Sims might die from that, but I'm actually really glad we don't have to worry about that here on Wildberry. No feeding like toxic poisons to Cranston after all. But all right, so where to begin? All right, we already gave the blowfish over to Blathers. Um, and let's go ahead and greet Gladys. I want to say hello. Hmm. I want to say hello to her. All right, guys. I have a sneaking suspicion this isn't a fossil. Also, Cranston's watering the plants, which makes me so happy. Even if he is just wearing a towel. <laughs> sure enough, it wasn't just the, the fossils. 99,000 bells. You may ask, Siri, why are you not surprised by the fact that you apparently have 99,000 bells? Friends, that's because my beloved husband Chips was here, and he exchanged his turnips at a great rate, and he usually leaves us a commission fee. So that was my wonderful Chips giving us a fantastic wild berry boost that I am so going to use to improve our island. Also, Cranston, good morning! Bumblebee, I was just thinking about how I wanted to see you. 
The best tasting island is Wildberry. Everything tastes great. Everything. <laughs> oh, Cranston, how I love you. Oh, heck. I think we already... Yes, Nook Miles. Oh, and cooking up a storm. All right, let's actually go into somebody's house, like Audie's house, if she's available. Because I know we can cook over at her place. Oh, and I need to start leaving behind all of our holly bushes. Here, let's actually exchange. Let's see. Oh, my pockets are full. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you guys the cute Arfoid now. Are you guys prepared for this? I don't think you are. I, I don't think you are. Because look at him! It's a little puppy! It is a little puppy! I, I freaked out when I when I found this guy. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, look at him! He's like, we have our very own little pet now. I wonder if Reese can actually help me recolor him. I don't think he can, but I absolutely love that Arfoid. Um, and we do have a tail that we don't need. Oh, oh that's a really rare butterfly! Okay, hang on one second. Oh heck, why did I just uh, unfavorite that ladder? Okay, nobody move. Oh, the butterfly is trying to land on me because he thinks I, I too am a tree. Because I am dressed as a tree. All right, let me just drop thousands of bells. That's fine. And then we're just going to casually... No, 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 no. Oh, I got him. Oh, thank goodness. Yes! All right, we might be able to go ahead and give that bird wing to one of our villagers because it is worth so much. <gasps> And she's here! Gladys is here, you guys! Yes! Oh, my wonderful friend from New Leaf. Let's go ahead and welcome her. Heck! And then we'll see if I can get her house moved. And we'll also put in some holly bushes everywhere. Oh, this is so exciting! I'm gonna miss Robin, but Gladys is like absolutely one of my heart's favorite, favorite villagers. I'm so happy that she's come to join all of the other cranes on the island. Siri, please forget this mess. I just got back to the island and I still have some unpacking to do. I moved in as soon as I could after you suggested it at the campsite. That was a great idea, Stretch. Now that I'm here, I hope we can see lots more of each other, neighbor. Yay, I'm so happy. So I'll put the rug there and then that on top, or should the rug go there and then that on top instead? I might be overthinking this. Oh, was I thinking out loud? I was just trying to imagine how my furnishings will look here. Oh, here, I'm gonna help you, Gladys. Let's go ahead and we're actually going to pop in to see Tom Nook real quick. Well, I guess I need to actually empty some of my inventory. All right, let's see. What do I want to do with these holly bushes? Oh, and I need to clean this up too. Oh darn, and Audie's outside, which means I will not be able to utilize her her space for cooking in. Um, Let me plant a couple holly bushes over here. We'll get a little bit of room going. Oh, what's this? Sometimes I just feel like hanging out at home and chatting with a good buddy. What do you think? Want to stop by a novel? <gasps> Sheldon, I would love to, but I can't right now. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible, but I, I legitimately can't because I wanted to replace like all of these bushes with holly bushes. As much as I love that fencing. Well, actually, I think this fence will look good with snow on it. So we'll leave those. But I was thinking about maybe replacing all of these bushes with holly bushes so that we have at least a bit more of a festive atmosphere on the island. But maybe, maybe there's still time to think about that. Here, we'll plant some of these holly bushes at random for now. And then we'll come back in and we'll properly set them up in the future. I want to put in some picnic tables, like reading nooks. I really want to make this place feel settled. Oh, that's right. I planted some holly bushes over here so we can start putting them on like either side of bridges. Oh, Sahara is here today too. Heck, there's just a lot going on. I wonder if she has better like Christmas gear today. Hmm, that actually would be really relevant to my interest. Here, let's remove these and then we'll put holly bushes right here because I actually think they'd look really good with the bamboo and with the red mums, surprisingly. All right, couple holly bushes there. Sahara, how you doing today? Very happy to see you. What do you happen to be selling? The mysterious flooring and mysterious, let, let's look at the mysterious wallpaper. We'll go ahead, we'll buy some, and we'll see if the mysterious wallpaper potentially has anything to do with the Vlogmas winter festive season. 
All right. Thank you very much, Sahara. And let's grab that mysterious flooring. And I might take a peek at her rugs. Because I think that actually Gladys might have been looking at... Or excuse me, Blanche! I'm sorry, Blanche! <laughs> Blanche might have been looking at her rugs. And Katarina did let us know that Blanche is really close to the friendship level. She's like level four. And if we get her to level five or six on friendship level, then we will actually be able to go ahead and have her give us her picture. Right now, there's not a chance that she'd give us her photo, unfortunately. We have to be a little bit better friends with her. All right, what do we get? All right, thank you. Thank you, Sahara. Thank you. Three tickets. All right, great. All right, let's see if any of these happened to be... Oh, and actually, Sahara, we should take all the money that Chips gave us and we should actually go ahead and make her spot over at the co-op because we haven't done that yet. That would be really fun. All right, so we have a red Persian rug, a scramble crosswalk, and a heavy curtain wall. All right, I don't know if any of those things are going to be what we wanted, but... How are you doing, Blanche? Well, if it isn't Siri... Time moves a bit more leisurely on the island. If I don't watch the clock, the day will end before I know it. I know, right? I feel like I can never get anything done. All right, here's a gift to you, Blanche. You know, since she was looking at Sahara's place, let's say she was looking for this rug, and I'll just pass it on. Is that a Persian rug? Well, isn't that something? You're too generous, Siri. I can't let you go empty-handed. Take some ski wear. Oh, see? Everybody else has some festive winter winter thoughts. That's actually, I think, the second time that she's given me ski wear in, like, three days. Oh, this is really cool! I love this color! Thank you, Blanche! Oh, I'm very happy with that. All right, so let's see. I'm going to bring the new puppy that we have maybe over to Cranston's place. Because I was actually thinking it'd be really cute to set up our little barking Arfoid as like a farm dog. Oh, he's precious. I may not leave him here forever. But I just thought it was really funny. I got a pet food bowl the same day I got him. So I'm just going to kind of leave that there. And also Octavian gave me a kitty litter box too. <laughs> <laughs> Which just cracks me up. Oh my gosh. But you know what the kitty litter box kind of could look like? Is maybe a tool for our archaeology dig site area. So let's go ahead and put it down. All right, let's go ahead and place this here. Because it kind of looks like a tool you could use for the dig site. So I'm happy with that. Also, let's gather a few more of our bells. Because we're going to need at least 10,000 to move Gladys. And we're going to need at least 100,000 to let Sahara know that we will add her place to the co-op. Let's see. I might put a few more holly bushes just at random over here. I actually think that was a good move. Because that'll help me when I'm trying to figure out how to make this place look a little bit more festive. We might even put up some reefs pretty soon, and I'm excited to show you guys my idea for the reefs. Oh, is this another fossil? All right, let me collect this real quick. It could have been another 100,000 bells for my beloved. You never know. All right. And let's get Blanche moved. Not Blanche, Gladys, no. <laughs> oh no, now that we have all of the crane villagers, I'm going to be tripping over my words. Trying to figure out which one's which all the time. Yes, yes. I would like to go ahead and talk about infrastructure. You see, no. I do have uh, some things I would like to do about the layout. And we're going to go ahead and move a home. And we're going to talk to none other than Gladys about moving her home. What? Oh my gosh, it's in poor taste to go ahead and ask her to move? Fine. Fine, I see how it is. All right, whatever. I don't I don't need this. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and leave that be. Gosh, I really love the holly bushes, but it, it's my attempt to bring winter to this island forcefully. I will bring some of the holiday cheer and I will bring some of the festivities, even if it's like a balmy 70 degree day here in North Carolina where Chips and I actually live. <laughs> I'm trying, friends. I'm really trying. All right, let's learn the sugar crepe. Here we go. And then maybe I'll make some sugar crepe to like pass out to some of the villagers today. Hmm. Oh, it's so cute. So two flour and two sugar should do it. Got it. And then Cherry, I'll be right back in just a second. Oh, look. This looks so much better with some of the holly planted everywhere. 
I feel like we are going to be able to bring in a special season. All right, we've got some fresh, wonderful sugarcane ready to go ahead and pop up. All right, I actually already have some flour too. Wow, I think I can already like make some of these sugar grapes. Here we go. Oh, I'm missing the sugar, okay. All right, time to make something over here. Oh, I love that Arfoid! I think I really will have to just leave that Arfoid here. He's just too precious. Oh, I need more sugar cane. Okay, noted. Two, four. You really want to try to water these guys every day if you want to do some big batch cooking. All right. Oh my gosh, Arfoid, I love you. Yeah, having a whole bunch of delicious tasty food the villagers can eat spreading holly bushes welcoming our new villagers to the island i think we're doing good at trying to induce some of the winter festivities uh and i think tomorrow we'll either work with lottie because i think lottie would be a huge help in being able to help us bring a lot of people to the island uh, with winter festive cheer because Lonnie probably knows lots about decorating to make it try to look more like a wintry time All right, we'll get a few more crepes because aren't these cute? So yeah, we might work with Lottie because I really need to like start learning some of the amazing skills that she can teach us And then we also might do a little bit of work setting up Cranston's cafe Because I would love for the villagers to wander over here because I truly adore cooking for them and giving them a whole bunch of delicious food to enjoy. All right, there we go. Lots and lots of flour. Whoops. And then I'm gonna prepare two or three more crepes. And then we'll head out. We'll hand out the wonderful wintery crepes. Hopefully inspire lots of delicious sugar rush for winter festivities. And then I'm just gonna have to accept that otherwise we live on a tropical island <laughs> and it's only going to look so wintry, no matter what I do. All right, there we go. Another sugar crepe. That should be good for now. I might even check with the nooklings and see how much these are worth, too. All right, let's leave the flour here. I'm actually going to drop the sugar. I think I should probably set the kitchen up so there's two or three counters to always constantly be holding at least a few items so it's much easier to cook and I don't have to dig it out of my inventory every time. All right, there we go. Excellent. All right, let's hand these gifts out. Cranston not over here. Can't move Gladys just yet. Diva's inside her house. Could she be cooking? I love how slowly but surely her archaeology dig site's coming together. <gasps> Diva's cooking! Yes! Diva, I'm so excited! Teach me your skills! A dash of this, a smidge of that. Who says it's hard to make stuff taste good? Not me, that's who. I got hit by a monster so I was craving earlier, so I started making myself some orange marmalade. Oh my gosh! Orange marmalade! Yes! Oh, I already know it! Okay, I'll go ahead and I will pass it on to my beloved husband, Chips, because I'm sure he'll enjoy it. Speaking of which, Diva, this is for you. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll give her the wonderful sugar crepes. Nice! Hopefully that means that she'll be really happy. <gasps> a purple rose wall! Wow! Like, I almost never get floors or walls from the villagers, so that's really cool. I didn't know Diva liked us that much. Maybe we'll ask Katarina how much our archaeologist Diva en enjoys being here on the island. In my mind, when she gives us the picture of herself, that'll be when all of her current research is done and she needs to head out to go to a new spot. Oh, Sheldon, hey! So now that you're fully caffeinated, dude, would you like to go ahead and have, like, a sugar crepe? Just to kind of top yourself off? Get some more of the zoomies? There you go. Fuel for at least a thousand more squats. <gasps> what the heck, Sheldon? <laughs> he just gave us his photo again, just when we were talking about, like, actually wanting to get photos. That's amazing! That's the second copy of his picture we have. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here for now because that is just amazing. This is such, this is like one of the rarest items in the game. And yet here we go. We've got a second copy of it. I think that he's super happy and our sugar crepes are amazing. I'm gonna have to see how much they sell for because they must sell for quite a lot if we got that kind of reaction. Shetty, how you doing? Let me go ahead and give you a sugar crepe as well. 
I'm glad we at least managed to get some of the hollies planted today. And a matras! Oh, that's actually kind of cute. All right, let's go ahead and see what kind of matras this one looks like. Please. <gasps> it's adorable! It actually looks more like an outfit that you could totally wear while you're running a cute little cafe. Oh, Shani, I wish I could give it back to her because I think she'd look so cute in it. I'll have to save it. All right, but let's come in to the boys and we're gonna see how much the sugar crepe sells for. <gasps> oh, and I think they might have some new toy items that we might wanna buy. Oh, they do! Look at this dinosaur! Oh, my husband would love that! I want it! Yes, dinosaur toy! Oh, that would be really cute to set up next to the museum as well. All right, I might buy two of them. Do I have room for two? All right, boys. Gotta go ahead and sell some stuff. All right, let's sell... You know what, I'm going to sell the sewing machine and all of that other stuff. Well, a train set I can probably give away to a villager. Um, with no problem. Uh, and you know what? I'll sell the extra wheat and sugar cane because we have a lot of it. Just saying. Just saying. And the orange marmalade, gonna send to my husband. And the hedges we can put away, I think. So, there we go. Alright, there you go, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alright, anything else I want here? We already have had a copy of the cute bed. Already have had that. And this is a brand new type of lamp. All right, we don't have a lot. It's not like a lamp I want to keep, but we don't have a lot of the ceiling lights. So we'll grab that. And this thing looks so cool, even though it's just a humidifier. I actually think it will look really great in this green to go ahead and add into our home. And then what the heck is this? There's like a fragrance diffuser and a humidifier. That's so funny. All right, I don't think I need that. And then last thing, I always forget to check what they have for walls and floors. So we're going to definitely do that. Ooh, wow, they've actually got some really cool stuff today. If I was feeling dirt clawed wall, do I have, have I never got, I don't think I've ever gotten the dirt clawed wall. We're gonna go ahead and buy it just in case. Cause we wanna have a whole bunch of cool looking rooms. Modern shoji screen. I, I don't have that one yet. So we're gonna go ahead and buy it. Otherwise it will never have been part of our catalog and I'll never be able to get my hands on it even if I wanted it. All right, the cork flooring looks kind of cool. Ooh, and I actually really like the look of the cute paint flooring. It's adorable. Thank you, boys. And I actually really love the blue dot flooring. All right. I don't think I have any more space, but I kind of want the dark parquet flooring, too. Oh, I did have space. Yes. All right. Phew. I only had like a dozen of the different types of floors and walls in my catalog before, so I figured we should go ahead and buy them out. And since we've been so focused on floors and walls today, time to go ahead and pay up so that we can add none other than the, the wonderful Sahara to Harvey's Island. So let's pop over and see him. And we're gonna see if we can like pay our way into Gladys becoming better friends with us. <laughs> Cause I think that that would be kind of a, a way of like putting out a good luck charm. <gasps> Oh, kind of like an Arcana series with all those little shrines and things that people leave out for the different spirits. I'm going to just consider going ahead and visiting Catalina, like putting a good luck charm out to become better friends. All right, let's do this. All right, Orville. We got this. And I'll pay off the last of the places that the co-op needs to be improved. <sighs> that feels like a big accomplishment. And then tomorrow we'll see how things are going over on Lottie's Island. Alright, thank you Wilbur. And... Let's go! Alright, first things first. Gotta dive over here. Hello Lloyd! We're gonna go ahead and... Oh, they already have 13,000 bills! That's really fantastic! Well, we use the money that my beloved husband Chips gave us to pay it off. There you go. Yay! Alright, so the new co-op will open tomorrow! Huzzah! Alright, and then anything else that we want to do real quick? Let me take a little peek over here. Hmm... 
potentially fakes, potentially real. I'll have to think about that art. Do I have anything? I wanted to see... I wanted to see if he could redo uh, gyroids, but I don't think he can. So let's go ahead and wrap up today by coming on down. And Katarina, could you tell me? All right, I would like to talk about friendship. Can you go ahead and let me know? What does Gladys think about us? She just moved to the island, so this is to compare yesterday's consultation that we did with Blanche. Oh, so mysterious. <laughs> Why is this so cool? Oh my gosh, every time it surprises me. Oh, oh, I see something, yes. I see that as one neighbor might recognize another, so too does this Gladys recognize you. This is pleasant, but perhaps they are thinking it would be nice to get to know you a little better. Perhaps. Now, I can perform a special friendship blessing for you, should you wish. Such blessings require very powerful energy, so I would of course need a significant payment. Let me see. I shall bless you for 10,000 bells. All right, let's do it. I understand. I will pray sincerely that you strengthen your friendship with Gladys. Please close your eyes again. <gasps> oh, this is so fun. All right, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, what do you say now, Katarina? Oh, that was really cool! That is all. I hope that my crystal will guide you as you strengthen your friendship with Gladys. Goodbye. <gasps> all right, guys, we've done it! Hopefully that means our good luck charm will work and Gladys will be even happier to move on to our island and be our best friend! Yes! My objective of trying to gather up all of the bird photos for our bird photography challenge continues. But alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful, wonderful island of Wildberry. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye